Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're going to check it out how to create some glass effect. First step, I got to create a new composition. I am gonna go with 10 seconds. I got to make it like 1080 by 1080. I got to rename this as text. Click OK. I'm going to select the typo tool. Click here. Type in something. I'm going to press and hold control and I'm going to double click on the pen behind. So we're going to have the anchor point in the center and I'm going to center it. I'm going to press the letter S and scale it here. There you go. All right, I'm going to create a new composition. Right click here, click on new composition. I'm going to rename it as displacement map. Um, I'm going to make the duration somewhere around 40 seconds. There you go. Click OK. I'm going to right click here, go to new and select solid. I'm going to go width 70 and height 1080. And I'm going to rename it as stripe. Click OK. I'm going to type into the effects and presets, the radiant ramp. So right here, I'm going to drag it into the stripe. I'm going to type in here 540 by 540 like that and I'm gonna modify this until it's gonna create a nice gradient it's gonna be zero this is zero this is 70 okay and I'm gonna type into the effects and presets now motion tile I'm gonna drag into the stripe and we're gonna modify the output width so increase the output width and it's gonna multiply i'm gonna go with like 4000 and i'm gonna press the letter p for position as you can see here and i'm going to move this here also press shift so we isolate it i'm gonna click on the stopwatch i'm gonna pull this all the way to the end and also i'm gonna pull the stripe press and hold shift pull it to the right so around here so it should go something like this i also can bring this diamond here to the 30 you know the keyframe i'm gonna leave it to the 20 and i'm gonna also pull this here all right i'm gonna go back to the text that i created gonna go to the project gonna drag in the displacement map under the number three i'm gonna uncheck it and i'm gonna right click here go to new and select adjustment layer i'm gonna rename this as glass okay i'm gonna pull the glass above the number three i'm gonna type into the effects and presets displacement maps and i'm gonna drag into the glass right here okay now we got here the displacement map layer i'm gonna select displacement map so we got uh, vertical displacement we don't need vertical displacement okay so i'm gonna type in zero and we're gonna work with the horizontal displacement you know you can distort it however you like and i'm gonna hit play and mainly this is how you distort glass in after effects thanks so much for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can notify with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end have a good one bye bye